If you've worked in sports videography before, you'll know it's one of the most fast-paced filmmaking environments that you can encounter. Time with talent is limited and you're often unable to do much with the lighting. But our recent Premiership Rugby content day was a rare exception. And although you might not be able to incorporate every element of the setup into every interview that you do, hopefully you can take away some tips to incorporate into your next sports interview. Firstly, combating green spill. Green spill is when light reflects from either grass or artificial turf and bounces green tones back onto the skin of your subject, making them look really unnatural. You can correct some of this in post, but it's always better to try to do it in camera if you can. And green spill can easily be avoided by placing a black sheet on the ground and getting your subject to stand in that area. For our setup, we simply use an old black backdrop and it's large enough to ensure that we don't get any green spill on our subject's face when we're filming. Secondly, we look to introduce some contrast into our shot, and we do this by placing a large 2x2 negative fill to the side of our subject. And we do this to enhance the Rembrandt style lighting effect that we're going for, where one side of our subject's face is nicely lit, another side is in shadow, and there's just a small patch of light on the shadow side cheek. Now, in a bright outdoor environment, you're never going to be able to achieve this look quite as well as you would inside where you can control the lights, but by bringing a large negative fill as close as you can to your subject, you're going to introduce as much contrast to the shot as possible. For the key light, when you're outdoors in bright sunlight, you really need something powerful. Here we're using a Nanlite Forza 720B, which when placed close enough, is powerful enough to alter the effect that the sunlight is having on your subject. We're trying to combat the harsh shadows that bright direct sunlight creates on our subject's face, and so to do this, we've put our key light through a large source of diffusion. We've used this large source of diffusion for two reasons. Primarily because the larger your source is, the softer and more flattering the light will be. And secondly, it also gives us some room if the subjects move back and forwards a bit on camera, they'll still be nicely lit. We're using a three Sony camera setup, all shooting on the same settings so they'll match easily in post. For our A camera, we're using a Sony FX6 and then using Sony A7S 3s as our B and C cam. All the cameras are also synced up using the tentacle timecode system to make post-production as easy and effective as possible. For lenses, we're using modern Sony Zeisses, primarily because they're clean and sharp look. They'll also enable us to use the amazing autofocus functions on each of these cameras, making shooting easier for us on the day. We've got a 25mm on the A cam, 40mm on the B cam, and a 90mm on the C cam. And that gives us a wide, a mid, and a tight shot to cut between in each of our interviews. And for audio, we always like to have multiple options, and we're using two sources here, both for safety, but also to give us the ability in post to listen and see which one's sounding best. All our talent were mic to a tentacle tracky labs and that will allow us to sync up that audio really quickly in post with time code in the tentacle system. We place the labs in the middle of the chest underneath the shirt and that makes sure that we capture that really bassy vocal tones in that recording. And because we're outdoors we use a shotgun mic placed in a road blimp with a dead wombat wind cover on top and that'll give us the best chance to eliminate any wind noise from our recording so we're just hearing the player's vocals. Although this is a setup that we'd love to have for every sports interview we do, we fully appreciate it's not always practical, especially if you're moving in a fast paced environment. But this is our goal and we try and incorporate as much of this setup as we can in each interview that we do.